Anderson here with One Fish, Two Fish, and today I'm going to teach you guys one of the most effective inshore uh, saltwater techniques and one of the best tools that Jeff and I always use for inshore fishing. Honestly, this is what brought me to the dance. These, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard us talk about popping corks since the beginning of our channel. Um, this is what I would honestly recommend for any new beginner, any angler that is just getting out there getting on fish uh, this is extremely extremely effective um, for any of your inshore species everything from trout to redfish all the way to tarpon all right so today i'm going to show you guys how to set it up and how to rig up your pole all right so i have my fishing pole and i've got braid on here when you guys take your popping cork you're going to be making sure that the brass beads um, are going to be attached to your leader line and then the colored beads the plastic ones is what is going to be attached to your main line which is the braid um, so for this, what I usually do is just a really easy polymer knot and cinch that knot and make sure you guys cut off your tag in. In this case, I have a really small tag in. All right. So again, plastic colored beads are going to be attached to your main line. And then at the bottom, you, you guys always want the brass beads down here. Uh, they are going to be attached to your leader line. So for leader, um, typically I use mono, but you guys can use floral carbon as well. Um, you might want to stick between 15 to 20 floral carbon. Uh, just for today's purposes, I'm going to be using mono, 15 pound. Um, if you guys are going after some good size reds for inshore, nice size trout, keeper trout, um, 15 to 20 is going to be perfect. That's what you guys are going to want. All right, y'all. So um, for your leader line, a lot of people ask us, how long do you want your leader line? It really all depends on how deep that you guys are fishing. So for us, we love to do, obviously, we're all about inshore. Um, we love to do wade fishing. So for us, um, if you're fishing about two to three feet of water, y'all can still use popping corks. These are really effective. Um, you might just want a shorter leader line. So you're looking at two feet right here. Um, if you guys are fishing open water, um, I will show you a specific popping cork that's great for open water, a little bit more choppy. You guys can go to maybe three feet for your leader line a little bit longer, um, but probably no longer than that. So when you guys tie this on the brass end, there's a video that I already did for y'all a couple months ago, and uh, you guys can definitely check that out. Then you've got your last piece, and this is the easy part, you guys. You're going to be picking out your jig head. Typically, um, I like to fish quarter ounce jig heads. But y'all can fish a variety of different uh, jig heads. We've got gotcha jig heads, which are always good, just a quarter ounce right here. Um, or another favorite of mine is going to be um, the trout eye. I think it looks really realistic, and it works great on the end of a popping cork. All right, so this is a trout eye that I really like to use. Um, I used to start with a gotcha jig head, which I think is great. It comes in a lot of different color. And then whatever y'all want to, whatever kind of knot you guys want to do at the end, you guys can do a polymer, or you guys can do a fisherman's knot. All right, so once you guys have this all rigged up and set up, you guys are going to be next choosing what kind of bait you guys use. So if you guys have access to live shrimp for all my Florida peeps, that's probably what you guys are going to be using. Um, but honestly, what I have learned to use and what I love using and what I think is actually the most effective thing is going to be the soft plastics, whether it's DOA, Z-Man, or Berkeley Gulp. Um, they all work great. I have a variety right here. I'm going to show you guys really quick um, what I use. So typically um, for Z-Man, they've got some really good shrimp that I like using, um, some New Penny chartreuse tail. Then I also usually use the, um, the Gulp. They've got some good ones right here, Pearl White Swimming Mullet. Um, two of my favorites are the mullet and the shrimp. I think that they work great. I use them kind of side by side. I always go out um, with at least both of them in the day. But for today, I'm gonna throw on a Z-Man. Um, I've got the root beer and chartreuse tail shrimp right here. All right, so when you guys rig these up, you're gonna take this right through the top, just like that. And you're gonna push it down probably halfway to its back. Make sure it comes out the middle. And then you're gonna kinda shimmy it up all the way up to that. All right, you guys, so that's what it's gonna look like when you guys get your um, Z-Man shrimp rigged up. And this is going to be red drum candy. Also, y'all can catch flounder, trout, tons of species on these guys. Um, one thing that I really wanna talk about and why the popping cork is so effective. Um, number one, you guys can use the popping cork in a ton of different inshore environments. I've had some of you guys ask how to fish over oyster bars. This is a great way because it keeps it in the zone, you guys want to make sure that you're keeping your bait in the zone of the fish, but also above all that structure so it doesn't get tangled and caught up. Um, but also, 
these fish and the fish, the inshore species, love that vibration. They love the sound, the clicking. It really gets their attention, especially a little bit of the splashing on the water surface. A lot of those fish are going to kind of come up. They're going to be curious as to what the noise is, the vibration, and then also they're going to probably think it's an injured bait fish. Um, if you guys are looking to imitate um, a shrimp, these are probably going to be your best bet. I think that these are um, these are uh, these are all Cajun Thunder, um, but this is more of like a cigar style. It's a little bit thinner, smaller profile. All right, if you guys are fishing in clear water, similar to Florida, a lot of times a lot of those um, inshore species, those fish are going to be a little bit more skittish and hesitant, um, and so that's when you might want to switch to something like this. It's a smaller profile and it has a little bit different of a clicking sound than the traditional Cajun Thunder popping cork. Um, I'm going to put them side by side right here. So um, these are kind of your main two you're looking at for the Cajun Thunders. Again, if you guys are fishing clear water, such as Florida, these might be your best bet. Um, they also imitate shrimp. The sound is a little bit more kind of shrimp-like, that like light clicking at the top of the water. So thinking about using the cigar ones. Um, the other style is a little bit bigger of a profile, um, but it definitely makes more of a disturbance at the top of the water. So if you guys are looking to get on some gator trout, some nice size red drum, um, would definitely encourage you guys to switch to one of these. Um, for all my people who are fishing more open water, if you guys are out in the bay, um, if it's a little bit choppier and you guys need a little bit extra kind of like spark out there to really get those fish's attention, um, this one is really good. Blabbermouth puts out a really great um, type of popping cork and it's more of a pushing water motion. Um, as you guys can see, it kind of almost works as a bass popper, um, really pushing that water forward as you're kind of pushing it through the water. Uh, but this is a newer type of popping cork. It's a lot louder. So um, when you're fishing kind of open water like this, it's really going to create a lot more um, just commotion and uh, kind of mimics that school of, you know, what the uh, reds are kind of chasing after. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right, y'all. So that was just a really quick rundown of how to rig up your popping cork. Um, my husband, Jeff, actually did a full tutorial on how to use a popping cork and how to rig it up, how to set it up, everything else that you guys need to know that was not in this video. Um, so I'll put a link. Y'all can go check that one out as well. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have questions, uh, drop a line below. And thanks, y'all, for watching. Peace out.